Hi everyone, it is finally that time again. Real Citizens has just dropped a brand new update and the developers have been teasing this update all across social media. Let's see what it has to offer. So this update has a decorating slash building theme to it, so of course, we have some new furniture. The new furniture are in the rustic style. We have had the agrarian set in the past, and I'll say this new set has a similar style to them. From what I can see, the new furniture seems quite versatile for decorating your living rooms and bedrooms. Let me lay them all out real quick for you guys to see. So here, we have a whole variety of couches, tables, and beds. Starting off, we have these benches over here. Unlike the benches from the agrarian set, these come with some nice cushions right atop of them. Then, we have these loft beds. You can buy the variant that has the desk under it and some shelves on the side, or just buy the one that has nothing on the bottom so that you can put whatever you want down there, like a beanbag chair or maybe another desk of your choice. Then, we have a whole ton of couches and sofas. The color variants are mostly brown, light gray, or dark gray, with each of them having a distinct style. I really like the pillows that some of these couches have. They look way comfier than the pillows we have had on the other sets. Lastly, we have some wooden furniture. We have a whole lot of them actually. Here are all of the items. I think my favorite item here has got to be this loft bed. I really like the shelves on the side, the slanted ladder, and the ability for people to place whatever they want on the bottom of the bed. So here's the only wall item we have for this update. It's a square shelf. And here are all of the clutter items that were added to this update. We now have crates, ceramic vases, piggy banks, desk plants. We actually already have a desk plant, but it's cool how they added some more. We also have ink containers, incense sticks, clay pots, a molecule model, and spearheads. And here are the two clutter items that emit light. We have a lamp and a candle. And we don't have any limited items for this update, unfortunately. We'll hopefully see some in the next update, which is for Halloween. And that should be it for the furniture. So before I go into the new and exciting furniture mechanics, let's go check out what's new for the avatar customization. Okay, so it seems like we got some new skin tones. Not that exciting, but I thought I would throw it out there since it's part of the update. So the next part of this update is something I'm pretty excited about. A lot of people in the community, including myself, have been asking for these features for a while now, and I'm so glad the developers came through. So one of the best parts of the update is that you are now able to customize your furniture in many different new ways. So look, I'll show you guys. When you select a piece of furniture in this new update, there is now a completely new selection menu. I really like how they added a grid for us here. Like before, you can still move around furniture, store, sell them, and all the fun stuff. But now, you are able to scale your furniture as well. This is very similar to how you would scale the clothing accessories and customizing them for your avatar in the game. So to scale your furniture, you simply click this button right here and some circles should pop up to allow you to drag it out along the X, Y, or Z axes. I can see this being pretty useful for people who want to build huge structures that consist of huge walls, and also useful for people like myself who like to build detailed things. I really can't wait to see the boundaries of custom furniture being pushed with this new feature. Another feature that they have given us is the ability to easily place a duplicate of an item that you've already placed, sort of like a cloning tool. Let me show you how it works. By holding shift while placing an item, let's say a building block, you are able to pull out another building block out of your inventory once you have finished placing it. And if you run out of building blocks, you'll be prompted by some more. This is a very nice addition as it will allow us to place down furniture more efficiently. Okay, so the next part of this update has also been long awaited, probably even more than the furniture scaling. With this new update, you are now able to rotate your furniture freely instead of being restricted to only rotating your furniture 90 degrees at a time. I'm so glad they added in this feature. There has been so many times when I wanted to rotate a piece of furniture less than 90 degrees, but just wasn't able to because of these restrictions. 
So to rotate your furniture, you would do so by pressing R as you usually do, but to change the increments, you just hit X. I don't know how this will work for mobile or for console users, but assuming Real Citizens is cross-platform, I think the developers somehow made it so that you guys are able to do it too. So we have 4 increment options for the rotations. By default, we have 90 degrees, but if we were to tap on X a couple of times, we can see that we can change the increment from 90 to 45, 15, and 5 degrees. These icons down on the bottom right here are actually indicators by the way. Yeah, I also thought those were buttons at first. So along with being able to change the rotation increments, you can now also free rotate. In order to do that, you just hold down your control key and drag your cursor around. I don't think I'll be using this feature much since I usually build with precision, but I think this would be pretty useful for furniture that's staying on its own, like a chair or a sofa. Along with those features, we now can also change the increments for furniture positioning. So here we have one stud, which is default. And if we hit Z, we now also have 0.5 studs, 0.25 studs, and 0.1 studs. And I think that's all of the building and decorating stuff for this update. With these new features, we will now be able to decorate a house so much more realistically. I can't wait to play with these new features. Oh yeah, I almost missed this. We also got a fairground being built for what seems to be for this year's Halloween event. It's situated in the same spot as last year's. Looks like this stage is going to be in this corner instead of the other side, but other than that, it seems pretty similar to last year's. Halloween is in like 2 weeks, so I look forward to this. Hopefully we can get some cool new furniture. So yeah, this update is absolutely fantastic, especially for builders like myself. Hop into a game of Real Citizens to try it for yourself if you haven't already. The ability to rotate and scale your furniture alone makes this update probably one of my favorites of all time. I really can't wait to share with you guys the custom furniture and the speed builds that I'll soon be working on using these new features. All in all, I really love this update, and I'm super excited to see what Real Citizens has in store for us next. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, also like and comment. Oh yeah, comment down below and tell me what was your favorite part of the update, and what would you like to see in a future update. There is a new map coming soon, along with probably a new Halloween update at the end of this month, so you can look forward to that. I'll definitely be going over those updates as well, so feel free to come by my channel during those times to make sure you don't miss any features from the updates. Big, big stuff coming soon. You don't want to miss it. Anyways, thank you for watching to the end. I'll catch you guys later. Stay tuned for the new vid.